All right, so you've decided you want to get started in video, but you just don't know how. So today I'm gonna to talk about audio, camera gear, and lighting, and what equipment I like to use when getting started in shooting video for your business. Let's get into the intro. What's up guys, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a video marketing guy that shoots video and content for my clients. I work with many different businesses across many different industries and I produce content for my clients. I have a lot of clients that are trying to get started in video themselves and maybe they can't afford me or in between their shoots with me, they wanna be able to record some video. And so today we're gonna to talk about how to produce a higher quality image when you're shooting video for your business. So a lot of people wanna jump right in and say, it's the gear, man, what gear are you using? And while I love gear, I am a gearhead through and through. I will get the newest technology there is. It's not about the gear. It's about how you use it. So the most important thing when it comes to your video is using proper lighting and having high quality audio. So we're gonna use three different pieces of equipment today. The best camera you have is the one that you actually have. So all of you guys have a phone. And so we're gonna show you what footage from a phone looks like and the audio directly from a phone. The next most accessible piece of equipment that's very versatile, I think is a GoPro. And so you'll be able to look at footage from a GoPro and hear what it sounds like. And lastly, we're gonna talk about using a camera. I have a Canon EOS R5. It's an expensive camera setup, but we're gonna look at what that quality would look like compared to a GoPro and an iPhone. So there's really only three things that you need to be concerned about when you're recording your videos. The lighting, the audio, and then the piece of equipment or camera gear that you're using to actually record the footage. Outside of that, you know, there's not too many things other than really what's the most important thing is the actual content. If you're not gonna create compelling content, then really there's no point in you even watching the rest of this video. But if you're able to entertain and educate your clients or your customers through your video and provide value to them, then yes, creating some video content is gonna be very valuable for you and your business, so you should keep watching. The first setup we're gonna look at is a studio setup. We're using a set light, we're using background lights, and I want you guys to look at the difference in using this high quality camera and an iPhone and a GoPro. So we're gonna jump right into that footage. All right, so if you're one wanting to go best case scenario. Maybe you have a studio set up and you can control the environment. This is what your images are gonna look like. I have the iPhone set up here, I have the GoPro set up here, and I have my Canon EOS R5 set up right here. So I have a main key light off of, off of my right side right here. I'm as close to the camera as I possibly can get. So you can hear the audio on each of them. And then I also have some backlights. You know, I have the lights off. This is just a controlled environment. So from a standpoint of getting started in video, if you can control your environment, you can make all three of these look very, very nice. And so that's kind of what we're gonna look at with this one. Based on the differences in this, is it more important for the audio is it more important for the lighting? Is it more important of the camera? So what I wanna show in this one is how important the lighting and the studio setup is if that's what you're gonna be doing. So if you're gonna be doing just a talking head to the camera, I would suggest investing more into the audio, more into the lighting and more into your setup versus the image because you can see from all of these images, if you set it up the right way, they all look really, really nice. So for me, when we're looking at a setup, especially to get started, it's way more important to understand lighting than it is for the piece of equipment that you're using. I'm messing everything up. So when you zoom in like this, you get a little bit more depth of field. So this makes it feel like it's a much higher end production. So this is a 35 millimeter lens right now versus we were on, I think it was set at about 18 just to, to get a good looking image. The lighting correctly, when you have the audio correct, when you have the right pieces of equipment, all of these can look really, really good. So it just depends on what your budget is and what you're trying to do. This is what I wanna show you of how important it is to be lit properly. I, I just messed all these up because I moved them around. But this is with no lighting. This is just like uh, the lights on in the studio. And you can see how poor this image looks compared to when we had it set up nice. So I 100% I think if you're getting into video, the most important thing is for you to understand lighting to get a pleasing looking image. The next test we're gonna do is more of this run and gun test. If you're doing kind of this vlog style outside, you can see what this footage looks like outside, in the sun, 
you know, just kind of moving around how stable the footage is, all that kind of stuff. So you can see what it would look like if you're doing a vlog outside, not in this setup like we have here. Now here's another type of shot that you're looking at getting. I have my iPhone on to just a little handheld like plastic thing. It's like $5. But if you get your camera settings right, this is what it can look like for kind of doing these walking, talking shots. This is what you guys would be doing if you're, you know, out just trying to document your day in the life kind of feel. So you can get this to be very stable. You can get it to look really nice. And what I really like doing is switching over to this ultra wide lens because it gives you a different perspective. You get a really wide range of view and you can see a lot more of what's going on. So if you guys are out in the field, you can really showcase what you're doing and talk about what you're doing and, and kind of give this vlog perspective day in the life. So if you're looking at iPhone, I think this is a very, very good option. Now moving on to the GoPro, this is where I really think this this thing excels it's super small i have it on a little hand holder thing but outside in bright light this thing works really good it's super super stable super smooth so for you you can walk around you can make this thing look really nice you can document what you're doing and showcase what you're doing and this is going to come out really really good you can interview people with this you know talk to your team whatever you want but the thing with a gopro is it excels in outdoor light it has to be very bright it's got a super small sensor so you have to have it really really bright for this thing to look good but i think the footage on this is super smooth and i think it looks pretty dang good considering it's just a gopro and now the final shot is on my actual camera i have a very expensive camera set up the lens is stabilized the camera stabilized i have a microphone on the top that's over uh that's expensive as well so this i also have a nd filter which basically is sunglasses for your camera so you can see better with having the right camera setting so this is a, a lot more expensive setup but it, it looks good like it looks really really nice Obviously I can do a whole lot more with this. I can take really nice photos. I can be a lot more cinematic and get some slow-mo shots with this that I can kind of use everywhere. It should be a much better looking image. But ultimately, this probably isn't a great option for people getting started unless you want to go down the road of like continuously making content. But it is a great option. This is what I use all the time. So there you have it. Obviously each of those cameras produce a different image. They have different pros and cons to all of them, but the best camera you can use is the one that you actually have. If you have compelling value driven content, you need to put it out for your potential clients. After that, it's just understanding how to set that piece of equipment up based on what surroundings you're using. So if you're gonna be using studio lights or if you're gonna be out in the field in direct sunlight, what's the best settings for that piece of equipment that you're using to capture the footage that you're wanting to capture. So get out there, create, test things out, practice. That's all I have to say, really. You have to get out there and practice with the camera and piece of equipment that you have. Once again, my name is Ryan Weber, and if you want more tips and tricks and tutorials on how to use cameras, how to get started in cameras, reviewing certain cameras, marketing for your business, stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.